I talk about pre-prompting it and then also to your point, the asking it, am I forgetting anything? Is there anything else you need to know? Both of those can be great to give you the additional context that you don't know you need to have. You could ask ChatGPT, can you create me a guide? It will mm. create a guide for you and it'll have a lot of tips and tricks of how to format it and everything else. It gives you that extra layer of, okay, there's probably something I've forgotten that might be valuable yeah. for it to know. Um, and you know, you can even say like for your use case, acting as a, the software engineer, ask me about any technical requirements mm -hmm. that I might've forgotten, acting as the ideal user, ask me any questions about what I might be considering from your perspective, you know, and all yeah. of that can provide additional information that you can use to create something better. That is, um, I think a key thing that I think people that are hesitant about adopting AI or scared about AI forget is that I truly believe this, that AI is not going to take every everyone's jobs, but someone that knows how to effectively collaborate with AI is going to be better off than someone that does not. It's kind of priming it with the persona that it should have, but you can also change its persona too. Mm -hmm. I've done that before yeah. where, okay, you're an architect now, now you're a software engineer. That also just gives it again, context for how it should act. Mm -hmm. uh, and you mentioned that one point, is it going to take jobs? Is it going to enhance jobs? I've gotten to this point where I feel like those that adopt it will be you know, far and ahead, the, the winners in this.